In this session, we'll study the estimation of channel capacity, estimation of channel capacity using Nvoga's method. So let me first draw a binary channel diagram with inputs x1, x2, y1 and y2. Now when x1 is transmitted, the probability of receiving y1 is p11. When x1 is transmitted, the probability of receiving y2 is p12. When x2 is transmitted, the probability of receiving the symbol y2 is p22. And the probability of receiving the symbol Y1 when X2 is transmitted is P21. So we get the channel matrix PY of X is equal to inputs X1, X2, two outputs Y1 and Y2. What are the probabilities we wrote? P11, X1 to Y2, P12, P21 and P22. So this is how I construct a channel matrix for the given channel diagram. Now, in channel estimation of Muruga's method, in this method, we see that two quantities Q1 and Q2 are determined by the matrix equation. Q1 and Q2 are determined or they are determined by matrix equation. How is that possible? So we know the matrix, what we have written from the channel. This is multiplied by two quantities, Q1, Q2. Why two quantities? Because I have two outputs. If three outputs, then three Q1, Q2. I mean, right, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Now towards the RHS side, this is equal to P11 log P11 plus P12 log P12, P21, log P21, P22, log P22. Towards the LHS, this becomes P11, Q1, plus P12, Q2. This will be equal to your first row. P11, log P11, plus P12, log P12. Coming to the second row, P21, Q1 plus P22, Q2. This will be equal to P21 log P21 plus P22 log P22. Now, I have got two equations. By solving the two simultaneous equations, I will get the values of constants Q1 and Q2. Once I get these value of constants Q1 and Q2, I write what is the channel capacity. Channel capacity is given by log of 2 power Q1 plus 2 power Q2. Or in bits per second, if I want in bits per second, capacity in bits per second, then C is given by log of 2 power Q1 plus 2 power Q2 into RS. That is the information rate. That will give you the channel capacity by using the Muruga's method. So this C can be log of 2 Q power Q1 plus 2 power Q2 and so on up till 2 power Qn bits per message symbol. Okay. But if I multiply, if I want capacity of the channel bits per second, I multiply that capacity with RS. If R is not given in the problem, I take it as 1 bits per second. So let us study this procedure of finding the channel capacity by Muruga's method with the problem. So consider, consider the channel matrix. Consider the channel matrix given. Okay. P of y by x equal to x1, x2, y1, y2. What are the elements? 3 by 4, 1 by 4, 
वन बाय फोर एंड थ्री बाय फोर सो फाइंड चरण कैपेसिटी फाइंड चरण कैपेसिटी यूजिंग मोरोगार्स मेथड so first one what we do is we write the matrix p11 p2 p12 as we wrote for the previous example p21 p22 multiplied by two unknown quantities q1 and q2 only two outputs so next this side 3 by 4 log 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 log 1 by 4 1 by 4 log 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 log 3 by 4 okay next what do i get 3 by 4 q1 plus 1 by 4 q2 or i can write it in the other way 3 or i wrote i got it Three by four, one by four, one by four, three by four, Q one, Q two, towards RHS side. The calculation of this first row, second row, I'm getting minus point eight one one three, and minus point eight one one three. Same value. Now I multiply the RHS values. One by four, Q two. Equating it to first row, one one three. Next one by four Q one plus three by four Q two minus point eight one one three. Compare both equations. Let me compare both equations. By comparing both equations, I will see that Q one equal to Q two. By comparing two equations, I'm able to see RHS is the same. So when I equate the RHS, I'm able to see that Q1 equal to Q2. Now what I'll do? I'll add both the equations. Add both equations. When you add both equations, what you get? Q1 plus Q2. When you add two equations, Q1 plus Q2 will be equal to minus 1.6226. From this, you can find. Q2 as Q1 equal to Q2, they both will be 1.6226. Now finding the channel capacity, log of 2 power Q1 plus 2 power Q2. We know the value of Q1 and Q2. We know the value of Q1 and Q2. So here Q1 plus Q2. So here Q1 equal to Q1 plus Q2 is equal to this. So now 2 Q1 equal to minus 1.6226 or Q1 equal to minus 8.13313. So that is equal to also equal to Q2. So C equal to log of 2 power minus 8.113 plus 2 power minus 8.113. So this gives me 0.1887. Bits per message symbol. About the capacity of the chat. This is when I have two inputs and two outputs. Coming to the next problem, where I have three inputs and three outputs. See the channel uh, diagram given to us. Using this channel diagram, we will also write the Channel matrix. We'll construct the channel matrix using this diagram. Okay, this is a channel matrix. This is point eight. This is point two. Point one. Point eight. Point two. Point eight. So P of y by x, our channel matrix will now be equal to okay. You can see P one one, P 
पॉइंट एट पी वन टू पॉइंट टू पी वन थ्री नो कनेक्शन जीरो पी टू वन पॉइंट वन पी टू टू पॉइंट एट पी टू थ्री पॉइंट वन आई एम नॉट रिटर्न पॉइंट वन इट इज पॉइंट वन पी थ्री वन जीरो पी थ्री टू दिस इज पी थ्री टू पॉइंट टू पी थ्री थ्री पॉइंट एट सो वन से हैव द मैट्रिक्स विद यू वॉट आई विल डू पॉइंट एट पॉइंट टू जीरो पॉइंट वन पॉइंट एट पॉइंट वन जीरो पॉइंट टू पॉइंट एट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई क्यू वन क्यू टू क्यू थ्री दिस इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट एट लॉक पॉइंट एट प्लस पॉइंट टू लॉक पॉइंट टू फर्स्ट रो सेकेंड रो पॉइंट वन लॉक पॉइंट वन दट इज टू इंटू टू बिकॉज इट इज टू टाइम्स प्लस पॉइंट एट लॉक पॉइंट एट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट टू लॉक पॉइंट टू प्लस पॉइंट एट लॉक पॉइंट एट so here i get the equations towards the lhs plus point to q2 equal to first row calculation here this row calculation will be minus point 722 point 1 q1 second row plus point 8 q2 plus point 1 q3 this will be minus point 922 second equation coming to this third row Coming to the third row, we have point two q two plus point eight q three is minus point seven two two. Solving the above simultaneous equations to find the values of q one, q two, and q three. So I get I get q one equal to minus six point five five three. Q two equal to minus point nine eight eight seven, and Q three equal to minus point six five five three. Next, I can find the capacity as log of two part Q one plus two part Q two plus two part Q three, and now that will be equal to point eight two six nine bits per message.